How do sticky traps work? Sticky traps are usually a rectangular section that is sticky on both sides. You hang the trap, peel off the cover paper to leave the sticky surface exposed. Sticky traps work by the light reflected from them attracting flying insects towards them. Where should I put them? It's essential to have the sticky trap facing the right direction, i.e. facing south to southwest. In a heated glass house, you want them facing due south, and in an unheated greenhouse, facing south to southwest. After a week or so, they can be turned. Does it matter which way up they are? Well, actually, yes. It depends which pest you're trying to control. You want them vertical, like this, for winged aphids, thrips, leaf hopper, and whitefly. You want them horizontal, sticky side up, for adult sciarid fly, scatella, flea beetles, and adult leaf miner. What types of sticky traps are there, and what do I use them for? There are different colours for different pests. Yellow is the most common and attracts most flying insects, but some colours are more specific. Blue traps are used for thrips and, generally speaking, are for control rather than monitoring. This is because they catch adult thrips which are not controlled by predatory mites. Red traps appear to be better for adult leafhoppers, but experience has shown some moths, such as the diamond back moth, are also caught on these traps. How many should I use? Usually one trap per 100 square metres, or 100 per hectare, for basic monitoring purposes you should use higher numbers for pest control or in hotspots. A hotspot area might be found around pest attractive plants such as leafhopper on rosemary or sage. In unheated houses, so tunnels or glass houses, and during colder periods from November to March, ideally you need a minimum of 1 per 100 square metres, but it is better at 1 per 50 square metres. These traps will catch flying insects on sunny days and will be effective pest control method during the period when biological control of many pesticides are either totally ineffective or activity is severely impaired by the cold weather. Traps in this situation should last several weeks or even months, making them very cost effective method for general pest control. How do I use traps to help me monitor pests? If low numbers of pests are being found and the trap catch is being monitored, you can easily mark these insects with a pen to avoid recounting them. Why should I use sticky traps? Sticky traps are an essential element in an integrated pest management strategy, both for monitoring and as a control agent during colder periods, and also mass trapping of flying insects from an external invasion or around localised hotspots.